students now in this session as you see that today from today onwards we'll start revision of all those chapters which we have already done in ncrt so today we'll start revision on whole numbers okay so i have selected some of the sums from rs agarwal okay so we'll start with the first question that is question number one write in expanded form so this is one of the most important question so suppose if any number is given 7 4 8 3 6 okay now how to expand this so you can expand suppose how many digits are there after 7 1 2 3 4 so you will put 4 zeros okay now we will write 4 and then you will count how many digits are there after 4 that is 1 2 3 you will put 3 zeros Fine. The same thing we'll do with 8. Write 8 and count how many digits are there after 8. 1, 2. Then you will write 3. How many digits after 3? Three, uh, 3. That is 1. You will put 1, 0 and then 6. So this is how exactly you will expand any number if it is given in the question paper. Okay. Now let's move on to sum number 2 students. Now, sum number 2, we have write the successor, write the successor of, this is sum number 1 of question number 2, successor of 1009999 and number 2 predecessor predecessor of 208090 okay now when we talk about successor it means we have to add plus 1 to the number which is given fine so the required number would be what successor of this would be you will write 1009999 you have to add plus 1 to it okay so what will be the required answer? 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is the successor of 10,000, sorry, 10 lakh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, 10 lakh, 9,999. Okay. So the answer is 10,000, uh, 10 lakh, 10,000. Okay. Now, now in case of predecessor, what we have to do? In case of predecessor, we have to subtract 1 from the given number. So that would be? Two zero eight zero nine zero minus one. So the answer would be two zero eight zero eight nine. Fine. So this is the logic that you have to use. That for successor you have to add one, and for predecessor you have to subtract one to the given number, which would be given in the question paper. Fine. Now let's move on to sum number three. Sum number three is determine the product by suitable arrangement. Now, this is a very important word here. So, you have to do the product by suitable arrangement. Fine. So, it's not that you have to multiply two with this and with the result again you have to multiply 50. But you have to make a suitable arrangement. Fine. So, suitable arrangement means you have to see such a numbers. Uh, you have to select such a numbers uh, whose product would be uh, 10 or 100 or 1000 fine so these are the two numbers you see if you multiply these two numbers then you will get in the multiple of tens so, okay so you will bring all these two numbers together that is 2 into 50 and 41407 after that now if you multiply this two number then you will get 100 isn't it and then this 100 you have to multiply with 1407 now it becomes so easy isn't it the multiplication becomes so easy now so the required answer would be 140700. See, this is what exactly you have to do. When it is said that suitable arrangement, you have to always see that which are the two numbers when you multiply, you will get in the form of in the form of 10 multiples. Multiples of 10. Okay. That could be 100 also, 1000 also, 10,000. So you have to just select and see. Okay. And after that, uh, once you have done this, then you will multiply the another number with that. The, I, I hope that after that it becomes very easy, isn't it? Now let's move on to sum number 4. 
sum number four we have you have to find the product but this time you have to use distributive property now when it is written distributive property that means you have to expand any one number either this or this so always you try to expand the number which is in the form of 100 102 105 see it, it will be always given like this only okay so what we will do 7 to 8 into now 100 you write it in the form of 100 plus 1 right so this is now in distributive law distributed law over uh, over uh, addition so now what you have to do as you have learned already that how to open the bracket you have to multiply this 7 to 8 with 100 also and 7 to 8 with 1 also so when you multiply 7 to 8 with 100 what is the answer 7 to 8 0 0 plus and you also have to multiply this 7 to 8 with 1 so 7 to 8 1 into 1 is what 7 to 8 now if you add this number then you will get the answer as 28537 so this would be your required answer do not multiply directly if you do that then there would be a deduction of marks you will not get the full marks suppose if it carries 2 then we will get only half marks okay but if you so when it is already written you have to use distributive property then you have to follow this process fine you should not do direct multiplication and give the answer if you do it then you will get only half marks for this fine okay now let's move on to the last sum of today that is sum number five sum number five we have find the value by using the property now this time we have to use the property fine the property they have not mentioned now as you see that we have two terms this is the first term and this is the second term so in both these two terms we have 493 in common isn't it we have 493 here also we have 493 here also so what we do is in the next step we'll take 493 as common fine so when we take 493 as common that means we are removing 493 from the first term so what we left inside the bracket only two then we'll give the plus sign and also we'll remove 493 from the second term also so what will left only nine isn't it now we'll add this number that is 2 plus 9 is 11 now you have to multiply this 493 into 11 the answer would be so answer would be 5 4 2 3 okay so these are some of the most important sums that i have selected from rsi google okay so i hope you will practice uh, 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 this type of sums okay from the rsi google and i want to say that even the examples of ncrt are also very very important fine so that's it for today. Thank you so much. God bless you all and stay blessed.